for a plane? That's a freaking jet, buddy. Yeah. Holy sh! I wish I had my jet ready. Oh, that was bad. That's right there, buddy. That's a freaking jet, buddy. Yeah. Holy sh! I wish I had my jet ready. Oh, that was bad. That's right there, buddy. So my buddy from Florida has moved to Los Angeles uh, recently, like a couple of weeks ago, and he's an avid skier surfer and whatnot and I'm an avid snowboarder ex skier and we're going to Mammoth this weekend and there he is the man what are you doing I'm, I'm vlogging the whole trip <laughs> hey, it's Steve Willis. What's going on, brother? Oh man, no handshake. <laughs> Brothers Dude. don't shake hands. Brothers exactly. hug. <laughs> hey, this is the guy I'm telling you about. That's the guy I'm telling you. Yeah. All right, we're on our way. We are. We are, how many hours into this? Like four hours into our mammoth drive. We are somewhere in the Mojave Desert, uh, close to Bishop. I think we got another 80 miles to Bishop or something, but actually. Two hours yeah. and 46 minutes to go. Yeah. Yes, so less than three hours we'll be in mammoth. So I have to admit, I, I made a mistake and Steve and I haven't seen each other in years, many years, I don't know how, what it is. So we're talking, we're getting caught up, and I, I missed an exit on the freeway. Or actually, I, I went on the wrong freeway. It, it kind of split. We Rookie. ended up in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> and we had to go through on the windy two-lane mountain road to get over the mountains to get back on the freeway. But at the same time, we did 80 miles an hour. Through, so. <laughs> exactly. And to add insult to injury, I knew I needed to get gas, but I had forgotten. And here we are in the middle of some mountain road and my gas thing light comes on. And the nearest gas station, I think the, the remaining range of my tank was equal to where the gas station was. And luckily we made it. it was the, from that point, it was basically downhill down the mountain, so I didn't have to use much gas, just coasting down. But I mean, we had no cell reception. If we ran out of gas, we couldn't even call anyone, so. We lucked out? Yeah. For a plane? That's a freaking jet, buddy. Yeah. Holy sh! I wish I had my jet ready. Oh, that was bad. That's right there, buddy. Got a little snow up on these over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our first uh, hint of snow. Cool. So that's our update, and uh, check back in after we get down the road a bit. Yeah. All right, we pulled over at a rest stop to uh, to get. Uh, Do not little, follow me in the bathroom with that thing. Little bio break. <laughs> yeah, the camera's not going into the bathroom. So it's a rest area, picnic tables, and so on. So it's a quick stop. Use use the bathroom, and there's where we are. There we go. You are here, right here. So here's where we are, wherever that is. Coming up on a lancha. We're heading up toward Bishop and then that way to Mammoth. From Bishop to Mammoth is like 40 minutes, 35, 40 minutes. Steve's on the phone and, with his wife, um, checking so, in. And I, I asked them to come out to San Dimas. She's in Florida. They do so or not. The I boys are out having a good time in California. California. And, you know, go back to San Dimas. We're all like 
in the outskirts of Mammoth, the city, just a few miles away, and we're greeted by a nice little sprinkling of snow. So I don't know if this shows up well on the on the video, but uh, it is nice. How about those snowflakes? Check those out. Huge. Huge. Ah, here's a little welcoming sculpture towel sculpture it's like an elephant actually i believe that would be a mammoth not, a, not an elephant look at that so we're going to walk to the restaurant just uh, down the street here instead of driving through this we're going to we're going to uh, just walk walk through the snow and slush actually it's, it's it's actually nice out it's not really cold it's not that windy yeah it's not that so here we go We're still walking to the to the restaurant. It's another probably another block up this way. We're gonna have dinner at Slocum's Bar and Grill. Filet mignon. I'm dying, bro. And salmon. It's it's Friday during Lent for me, so I have to they did have a good guy. not have red meat. I guess he has bad nightmares, so he's uh, protecting himself. From, from himself. Are your nightmares that bad? Are your nightmares that bad? Do you have to wear a helmet? <laughs> we have some uh, Bluetooth tunes being played here. Yeah, we're ready for tomorrow. So Steve's already in bed. He's a early, early sleeper and I'm a night owl. So I'll be up a little bit while longer. I've been doing some, some work for the office uh, you know, from here, but uh, I'm going to sleep soon. We're going to have a long day tomorrow. Going to hit the slopes early. So I hope you enjoyed our first uh, first day's video. See you in the morning. So we're back from the first day at Mammoth and as you can see in the video prior to this that uh, it was very good conditions. We had fun. We had a blast. Uh, a lot of the, the slopes didn't seem like they were groomed so there were a lot of, uh, I don't know, semi mobiles crud. just crap. A lot of crud. <laughs> a lot of crud, yeah. But you know, we found, we settled on some, some runs that were really well, that went really well. So afterwards, when we're hanging out at the lodge after we were done, we... Uh, Après Ski. Après Ski. That's, that's Steve corrected me. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> we, uh, we hung out with some, uh, some folks that were pretty cool people. One guy was from Bishop, which is a town just outside of Mammoth, and you know, a couple of locals there. So. They give us some good insight on where to, what, what to do. So we're hanging out with them for quite a while and we ended up missing the last gondola. The gondola closed at five and this was like, I don't know, 5.30ish, 5.40. So we're like, oh crap, how are we gonna get home or back to the hotel 
to, to the village. And we ended up taking a taxi cab. There's no Uber here, at least no one, no Uber drivers from what I understand. Anyway, so we're back at the hotel. We're going to uh, go out and get some dinner and uh, see some nightlife. So we're walking to dinner tonight. <laughs> no snow on the ground tonight. <laughs> I'm laughing because I don't know why. I'm just in a, he ate a pine cone. Stinking giddy mood. <laughs> uh, instead of waiting for the little trolley car. Yeah. We decided to walk. We're only we're less than a mile from the Mammoth Village where, where the restaurants and things are. So. So here we go. We're gonna check it out. And Steve grabbed a coffee or was it hot chocolate? Coffee. Coffee. From the breakfast area of the hotel. So it's nice they have that available. <laughs> it's nice, been there this since this morning. Yeah, exactly. He's zapped Extra it in the microwave. <laughs> so, we'll see you at the restaurant. We're at a place called uh, Smokehouse. Smokehouse restaurant. And uh, Steve and I are here having dinner. What is this? Pork chops. Oh yeah, so on the way walking here on the sidewalk, some guy recommended that uh, we come here and try the pork chop with apple glaze, something or another. So it looks caramel. really good. Yeah. yeah, caramelized apple. Myself, I'm having the filet mignon. There's that. Another recommendation that uh, someone had mentioned was, it's the called Lakanuki. Here's the little tiki. TK guy in front, and there's a thing in the front door itself. Check out the front Take door the here. Knockers. I'm sorry, maybe there are handles. Steve's doesn't work either, so we're gonna just go to the front desk. The front desk is actually closed, but he's calling them to see if he can wake up the manager or whatever. We'll see. We got uh, new programmed key cards. Let's go check it out. Let's see if it works. Green, success. I hope you liked today's episode of snowboarding and antics in Mammoth. Steve's asleep already and I'm getting ready to go hit the hay too. It's been a long day. So, tomorrow's another day. Steve and I are Done with Mammoth. We we snowboarded the hell out of Mammoth this uh, afternoon. We went non-stop since lunch. So uh, we are headed back to civilization, Los Angeles, and to give you guys a peek of what we've been in for the past couple of days, check this out. Look at Steve's new hat. He's rocking that uh, mammoth. Yeah, man. Mammoth hat. You know the cool thing about it? Look underneath it. It's got a trail map. Yeah, where am I? Oh, wait, I'm right here. <laughs>
back to Steve's uh, hotel and his key doesn't work to get into the back entrance of it. He's staying in a hotel for a few weeks until his house is ready to, to I guess he's, he closes on the house in a couple of weeks. So yeah, we made it back and as soon as we get him unloaded, <laughs> I'm heading, heading out. It's getting close like to brother. quarter to midnight. So it's been a long weekend. So I've made it home. Steve and I had a great weekend, but now all that fun is coming to an end. I have to get to bed and get to work in the morning. It's uh, a little after one o'clock. Ooh, it's actually 119. So I've unloaded my car, but I have not unpacked anything. I'll do that tomorrow after work. I do want to give a shout out to two very special people, Allison and Katie, my two daughters. They gave me a great Christmas gift these past holidays, and that was the gift card to Mammoth. So if you two are watching, thank you very much. The gift card was put to very good use this weekend. And for the rest of you, if any of you have any funny stories or whatnot, you know, from road trips or, you know, going to Mammoth even, uh, let me know about them. Put them down, down in the comments down below. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe and be notified when I post other videos of mine, then uh, please click on the subscribe link somewhere on this page. Okay, well... I'm glad you guys could come along. Hope you had fun. And until next time, see ya. Hear that snow in my hair? I lost Steve, and I told him to uh, to meet me here, so I'm sitting here waiting for him. Hi! And there, there he is, <laughs> shows up. We're at the Opera Prix, Opera, Opera, yeah.